I want to warn you, you're about to see disturbing images out of Cairo. For the last four days, protesters have clashed violently with security forces in Tahir Square. These images of a woman being dragged, exposed, beaten by Egyptian security forces are fueling even more outrage in Cairo today. The woman's identity has been protected uh, for her safety, uh, but the Egyptian military has weighed in and is defending the use of force. It is another example of the chaos unfolding in Tahir Square right now. I want to bring in Egyptian journalist Mona El Tahawi, and uh, Mona, you are no stranger to this kind of abuse uh, yourself. You experience this, uh, you say, at the, the hands of the Egyptian military. Uh, remind our viewers, first of all, what, what happened to you. Well, my left arm and my right hand were broken by Egyptian riot police about three weeks ago in Cairo during a protest, and I was also sexually assaulted by those same riot forces. And I was detained by the police and then the military for a total of almost 12 hours, two of which I was blindfolded and interrogated. And I hold the Egyptian military, namely the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces, responsible for all of that, because they're the ones who are supposed to be running the country. And clearly, as the images you just showed show us, they're doing a terrible job of running Egypt right now. Mona, when you see those images of that woman being dragged away, what do you think her fate is? Well, first of all, I hope she survived. I hear from various people that she did survive, but I hope that she is able to recover. I hope that she's given the space and the therapy and whatever physical and emotional care that she needs to recover because I, I cannot even begin to imagine what she went through. I've been unable to look at a lot of the images that have come out of Cairo over the past few days because they take me back to what I went through. But what this woman went through is incredible on so many levels. I salute her, first of all, for her courage in being there. But second of all, I think what she does, and especially this picture that we're seeing right now, is that it exposes once and for all and kills any denial about the Egyptian regime, whether it was under Mubarak or now under the military, and their use of systematic sexual violence against women in Egypt. It is a shame. It has been denied for too long, and we must expose it at every level. And this is, unfortunately, her tragic case has allowed us to do that very publicly. Mona, how does this change here? I mean, this started as a revolution. There was a lot of support for the military. Now it seems that the military is turning against the people that they say they were representing here. Uh, how, how do you manage this situation where security forces are, are not giving over their control to this new government? Right. Well, you know, from the very beginning, Suzanne, many of us were warning about the military. Many people thought the military were the guardians of the revolution because they didn't open fire on people. But from the beginning, the military have been violating people's rights, have been detaining them. Remember the virginity tests in March. One of the women that is taking the military to court for those so-called virginity tests, which are essentially sexual assaults, she was also detained over the past few days in Cairo. What we need to do in Cairo is firmly tell the public, the Egyptian public, that is not out on the street, that the military is not our friends, specifically the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces. They are not our friends. They are not the guardians of the revolution. And we need to move immediately to a civilian leadership in Egypt. Field Marshal Tantawi, who is the leader of Egypt right now, who has essentially replaced Hosni Mubarak, is not a good leader for Egypt. He needs to go. Washington needs to tell Egypt because Washington gives the Egyptian military 40% of its budget, $1.3 billion a year. Washington needs to make very clear to Egypt that that money it knows is going to violating people like that woman on on those pictures like myself like so many other Egyptians every mm -hmm. government that that supports the Egyptian regime must stop because the money that goes to the Egyptian regime the Egyptian military is being used to abuse people and we need to revert to civilian leadership immediately in All Egypt right. okay Mona El Tahawi thank you very much Mona I appreciate your perspective